you know, it's it's like an addiction for them. They just can't help it. You know? They just can't help but lose money. They can't help but lose players and so Ray Swap version of Zoe Lawton for season three. Now, if I recall, Deadshot is uh still black in this. So race swapping the character, whatever, it would have to be race swapped. But why? Of all the characters in the DC universe that you could introduce to play as, you chose a character that no one really gives a flying crap about. So this is from the official. No one tell Deadshot, but Lawless, a.k.a. Zoe Line, arrives October 1st, along with Season 3 of Suicide Squad game. Could have picked Black Manta, Deathstroke, Peacemaker, Bloodsport, etc. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the general consensus is that people wanted Deathstroke. People wanted Deathstroke. Because it's like, no matter what, what context it's in, whether it be comic or movie or whatever, Deathstroke is just a badass. People want him. You know, hell, fucking Teen Titans, when he was going by Slade, you know, because of his name, uh, that dude was a menace. That dude was a freaking menace. You know, Robin, who was a martial arts master, barely could even keep up with the guy. The guy falls into lava, comes back with the help of Trigon, but the dude was a menace, you know? And that was the toned down version of him. So Deathstroke would have probably been the best pick. Um, actually, who else? Did anyone mention anyone else in this? Uh, Anti-Flash, Mr. Freeze, Bizarro. Yeah, that would have been cool. Shiva, Copperhead, Bane, Killer Moth. Ooh, Killer Moth. That would have been cool. He's really, I don't... Uh, was there anything with Killer Moth in recent years? That would have been a cool one. That would have been a cool one. Captain Cold, uh, hoping for Peacemaker, or someone cool from, D, uh, from, cool D, uh, cool from DC. Like an evil Black Adam or something. Deathstroke is next. Deathstroke next season. Until they pick another character no one gives a flying crap about. Yeah, Anti-Freeze? Oh, or Anti-Flash. I was, I was like, Anti-Freeze. Anti-Flash, Mr. Freeze. So, yeah, Anti-Flash would be really, really cool. Mr. Freeze, I mean... Technically... We already have Mr. Freeze. They claim this is... Mrs. Freeze, but it looks like a fat, angry Asian dude. Now, it, it, it's pathetic what they've done to Mrs. Freeze, because in the comics, Mrs. Freeze is actually pretty badass. You know, she's still beautiful, she's still feminine, but she's badass. This, who looked at this and said, Like they, they're sitting there like, this is fine. Like, who's doing that? Not one person should look at that and say, yeah, this is ready. This is, this is a great design. Let's take Mrs. Freeze and make, him, make her look like an angry, fat Asian dude. Like, wh whose idea was this? Probably a self-insert. I wouldn't be surprised. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so many characters they could have chosen from and they choose the one that no one really cares about glad i got my refund this is how you want to win back fans after the horrible disrespect you showed to kevin conroy screw you uh batman didn't die the justice league minus diana were actually clones and Kevin was hired for the gig. There's no disrespect. Touch grass and stop taking it so personal. Ah, yeah, see. Touch grass. Like calling people incels who are married and have children. 
This doesn't work. Can we see how she plays, please? Oh my god, so stunning and brave. Why don't y'all just go ahead and skip to season four with Deathstroke and bring back the whole Justice League to and beat Brainiac? Another dead character for a dead game. You guys really didn't want this to succeed, did you? Damn, not even a trailer. So over. There's <laughs> there's little like there's like zero enthusiasm with this post. No trailer or anything. After season four, the game really is being dropped. Yeah, is there... Hang on. Yeah, there's not even a trailer. <laughs> this is this is all you've got. This is all you've got. Hey, guys, you should be hyped about the game. Here's a promotional picture. You Bet you can't wait for season three now, huh? Great marketing there, guys. This will definitely get people to want to play the game again. Um... Where's Deathstroke at? That's hilarious. We don't care. Hope this helps. The pride icon says it all. They're just going to rush out, out with the... Uh, they're going to just rush out the rest of their content and not actually try to improve the game. Just like Epic Games, they plan to ditch this for their next... their For their new project. Man, where are all the patches? Are y'all speedrunning the game of the end? Uh, speeding the end of the game? Yeah. I mean, there are some games that feel like they do that. I mean, if you play World of Warcraft, it feels like that sometimes. It's like, are you just like, speedrunning and just like giving us little content so you can get to the end of the game faster? I, I think it felt kind of like that with um, Shadowlands. It's like, I think they just want it to end. <laughs> the game is doing abysmal numbers. You know, I think they just want to speed run to the end. You really had no focus group when you were deciding on these DLC lineups. I mean, as you can see, like, no one really wants this. It's like, that's it. That's lawless. That's just a girl with a jetpack. You could add Mr. Satan in there. Hell, if Mr. Satan... People care more about Mr. Satan than freaking character here. <clears throat> Rocksteady. We will be waiting for more trophies achievements for each season of the game. I feel it's useless to do all of these seasons without any more trophies to go along with it when people have uh, have already got the plat on the game. Seriously, are you guys even trying? Having Deadstroke, Bloodsport, Captain, fucking Co uh, Captain Cold, but nope. You give us this shit. Jesus, how the mighty have fallen. Just deleted the game, re-downloaded it, nothing was saved. I 100% this game, and I have to replay the entire story. Man, that's bad. <laughs> Love the sweet baby Concord diversity design. Rocksteady really knows what trends to follow to end that end in bankruptcy. Sure, don't give us characters who like Peacemaker, Black Manta, etc, etc, etc. Give us characters that we don't give a shit about. Get more political. That will help for sure. Make a character that people want, like Bane or actual Mr. Freeze, instead of a character that is obscure. I mean, I... They could have put in Solomon Grundy, Wolf, Jason Todd. Oh, yeah, that would have been a cool one. Jason Todd. Clayface. Yeah, there was another one I heard. They were like, why not Clayface? Uh, they could have literally put in a character related to the uh, to horror. Or just let us play with the sandpaper of justice since it is suppos supposedly over. Haven't you haven't been able to play since Joker dropped? It bricked my game, and still no one has been able to help me. I've deleted and re-downloaded the game countless times. I've tried to reboot my PS5, 
It shows me the cutscene and then it just freezes. Oh, that's Mrs. Freeze's fault. Just doing her job. I like the design. Can't wait to see the gameplay video. Like, there is no one really excited. Why? Just why? I don't have more questions. Why do you do this in the Arkhamverse? It's maybe six people playing this shit across all platforms. No trailer is crazy. Yeah, that's kind of weird. What a shame. Looks like Concord. I get to have, you know, I get to have three chicks on my squad. I'm so hyped. Hyped. Her goggles, the hair, <laughs> of course. How is this game still in production? This game's still alive? Yeah. So, yeah, there, there, there were people, you know, characters thrown out that could have been in there. You know, like the person said down here about Black Manta, like these right here, Black Manta, Deathstroke, Clayface, uh, those were one I kept hearing. Um, but no, they, that's like having a Marvel game and having all these really big name heroes and that, and then adding like fucking squirrel girl, you know, it's like, what, what of all the, of all the characters in Marvel, you chose squirrel girl. Really? Really? So. I'm not surprised at all. You know, this game was pretty much dead short after release. Um, people don't really like how the characters, the characters were treated. You know, a disrespect to a lot of the characters. Um, the character designs were just fucking horrible. The Joker design was terrible. Mrs. Freeze was terrible. Um... This is like freaking Concord Overwatch mixed together. No one cares about the character. They could have added so many other characters that people... It might have gotten people back into the game. Like, if Season 4 does happen, and Deathstroke is Season 4. Um, you know, but they could have instead made Deathstroke Season 3 to get people into the game. Because it's... Again, Deathstroke, amazing character. Even when he's downplayed in very, you know, in a, not a childish show, but uh, like Teen Titans, the dude is still a fucking menace. The dude is overpowered. The dude is just hardcore badass. And it's like, you know, if you said, oh yeah, season three, Deathstroke, and had a really fucking cool trailer, it would have gotten people back into the game. But no, just... Give us this. Give us this. It's like they don't even care. Well, let me know if you guys have played the game and what you think of it. And are you excited for season three? Can you just feel that excitement boiling up to a, you're like, oh God, I'm going to have to let it all out. Let me know. And who else? Uh, can you think of that would really be an interesting character to have in um, instead of this? I mean, of course, from the ones that have already been mentioned here. But, um, yeah, let me know. That's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.